Welcome. Today we're going to talk about one simple trick to improve your note system so that you can just produce more content, make more connections with your notes. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Become a member, curtismckale.ca slash membership. Take a course, curtismckale.ca slash education. And then there's all that YouTube stuff, like subscribe, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's jump into this little trick you can do. So as I've helped many people um, build their note systems and, you know, had lots of people come to me with coaching asking me, hey, how do we do this? Oh, there's one thing that they all do and the single problem that pretty much everyone has can be fixed easily. You don't even need to hire me to do it. And that one simple thing you need to do is make time to work your notes. There's no trick. Just do the work. <laughs> That's it. Every single person I've talked to, their issue is when I say, hey, are you doing the work of, you know, making connections? When do you have time set aside to make connections? The answer is, I don't have time set aside. Oh, I'm not actually make, setting time to make connections. I just, what, do you hope they're going to just manufacture themselves out of thin air? Not going to happen. You have to make the time to do connections. This is something I admittedly try to do every Friday. I try to make time to sit down for at least 30 minutes, hopefully an hour, and make connections with my notes. Well, that's how I continue to produce content. That's how I um, you know, make notes and continue to make connections. Now, I will show you one method that I use to do this. And I've actually done a video fully on this, how to set it all up, which I'll refer to up above. But let's look at it quickly here. So you can see I actually have my notes for this right here, right now. And I'm using, uh, I'm going to talk to you about random note search. And so for this, I use a couple of plugins. I use random notes plugins. I use the uh, search plugin and I use uh, workspaces. So let's show you how I set this up. Hit command P, I type workspace, load the workspace, load random note. And so it is set up like this by default. And then I just type random note open a random note. It's going to open a random note, not one I want to. So I just skip to the next random note. This is a weekly note. So I actually need to add some more exclusions to this because I don't really want this one. But random note, All right? Daily note, autonomy. So now we actually have one. And so what this has actually done is it's taken this uh, up here, this search, right? Path of notes, path, or it hits the tags or books. It's giving me a random note with these search parameters. And now that I have this, I can start to say, do I want to do anything with autonomy? And I can start looking at uh, over here, right? My linked mentions. What have I mentioned in here? How can I make more connections? And I go random note again, bell curve. What is a bell curve? So this is something I need to actually type to summarize. So now I've tagged it. I've done, oh, you see I've tagged it right there as well. Although I do like this tag instead. And I would start to go through and I need to summarize this. That's another one, random note, right? If your rewarding career is full of lots of flow states as designing your life says, then, you know, here's this. So this is a writing idea. And so I actually don't like the title, so I'm going to change it. I'm gonna say, uh, right here, a life is full of flow states. And then I'm going to move it out to, move, it's going to go to notes. So I've taken it out of daily, I moved it out to notes, and I have changed it. This is also a writing idea. So I could do say use that tag to search it in other ways. Now that's it. That's what I do. I use the random note feature with workspaces to continue to find random notes and continue to make connections. So I will spend, you know, a whole bunch of time on one note or go through a whole bunch of notes, it, whatever happens to come up, I will continue to make connections that way. So even if I'm working on a specific project, I try to make a chance to do this. I say every week is ideally, but every couple weeks is sometimes what happens. Um, if I'm working on a specific project, then I'll be digging through those project notes specifically and trying to make more connections, trying to flush them out, trying to write them, trying to add to it. So that one simple trick is just do the work, people. Like, there's no magic trick. You're going to follow some other blog post, something else, watch some other video, and it's going to say, oh, here's your trick. The trick is just do the work. Because you'll do the trick for a little bit, and then you'll stop doing the trick. And the big thing is you didn't do the work. Well, that's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe, bell, all those things that YouTube tells you to do. If you really liked it, become a member. CurtisMcHale.ca slash membership. Take a course. CurtisMcHale.ca slash education. Feel free to tell me there's a bad tip in the bottom, uh, in the comments. I don't actually care, though. Have a good one.